quickly want to talk about obviously the britney grind and stuff i know most of you are obviously aware she has finally landed back home in the usa and i'm absolutely happy for her i gotta admit i know there's a lot of politics around it a lot of consent this you know different voices saying different things as to why they have grievances as to why the ufc decided to swap her for that arms dealer but for the most part i'm just happy for her as a person because to go to russia in general the story is always crushing right because it's a it's a kind of cautionary tale in a little bit but it's also just one of those unfortunate circumstances where for the, yeah i see the oh, Pete Davis, i saw people saying that online but it's one of the unfortunate circumstances where you go to russia in the off season to make extra money because your league at home doesn't pay enough because people don't watch it it's not an appealing enough product to you know command a high salary from because there's not enough brands and sponsors and all that sort of stuff that want to align with it because no one actually watches it you know not any women actually watch it that's how it really weird it is which is i've never really actually got why women don't watch women's sports for the most part there's a lot of dudes watching women's sports but not a lot of women watching women's sports which odd i don't know why but anyway it doesn't matter so she goes there to get extra, earn some extra money in the off season in, you know inadvertently or purposely puts a flipping vape cartridge or weed in her bag less than one gram and that ends up you know <laughs> resulting in her going to prison in russia for nine years that's the thing that you two people need to remember it wasn't like she was held in detention pending a trial all this time she was legitimately serving jail time for nine years for the crime of carrying a weed carrot to flip in russia in the middle of uh you know what russia is doing now in ukraine she was essentially used a little bit like a political pawn not a little bit definitely a political pawn um obviously to further whatever else that they were doing over there so that's the crazy part of it i just feel like she was caught in a crossfire definitely a wrong place wrong time tool situation and she had to suffer for it so i'm just happy she's back as a person as a fucking person i'm happy she's back i just hope now that she's back you know got to spend time with her wife and do christmas stuff i just hope she doesn't go in her political soapbox and start telling us about how we should be living our lives and talking about social justice and whatnot you got caught in a sticky situation you know it's unfortunate these things happen like that but now you're home just focus on your career and what you're doing don't then now become suddenly some sort of activist person hopefully that doesn't happen i'm really really hoping it doesn't happen and then the other bit was obviously really funny was this victor boot guy who she was swapped with right in the prison swap who legitimately looks like a villain from that movie face off right that's who he basically looks like or any other nondescript villain you've seen ever in your life in the history and the funny thing about him with him being a you know an arms dealer and what the, what's, what's his name the viking of doof of death or something or sergeant of death whatever of doom um the funny thing about it is that if you've read any books on Russia, which I've read quite a few, no, Jack, I've only read one, but I've read one book on, on Russia, especially on the oligarchs. And the funny thing about it that I think is really interesting when it comes to arms dealers is that are you aware that some of these arms dealers aren't like, you know, aren't like um, inherently evil people, right? They're not like these maniacal kind of like marvel villains or whatnot they're just regular oligarchs who are essentially getting trapped whether they're doing some unsolicited stuff outside of their marriage whether or not they're you know they're closeted homosexuals whatever it may be they're getting trapped in some way and then basically the what, they, what is being alleged is that the russian government then puts them in a position saying hey you're a high-flying businessman you're able to go to all these different places you know on you know on the strength of the amount of business you do despite having a russian passport we're going to use the fact that you've got this ability to travel and kind of go through borders and whatnot and basically tax onto you the guns and the arms that we want you to get to certain people's armed hands and obviously it also gives them a little bit of um it also gives them a little bit of of detachment for the situation they can send these oligarchs out there to go and basically sell all their gears and what they want and they can basically hide in the shadows so a lot of these people aren't as malevolent as you'd think they are they're just regular folks who get caught up in the lifestyle or who can just get caught up and then trapped in the first place and then they're put in a position where they basically have to deal arms in order to basically keep their family safe and stuff so it's a little bit crazy when it comes to this sort of stuff so all in all I think it's great. I think everybody being, found, you know, suddenly aware of who Victor Boot was is awesome. I watched a documentary on him ages ago. I think it may came out like 2017 or 16 or something. It's pretty good. I forgot the actual premise of it altogether because such a long time ago. But I definitely recommend you check out a documentary about him and everything else concerned with that. But personally, I'm just happy fucking um, Brittany Griner is back, mate. I'm just happy she's back. So pick up Brittany Griner. Hopefully you're okay. I saw that they cut her off her braids. They're saying they cut off because it was too cold and they were getting locked up. It doesn't matter 
how they cut off or why the fact that she's back home is, is the most important thing hair grows back you know what i mean you, you don't get time back though so now she's got time to spend with her family before christmas it must be the best christmas present ever so definitely um big up britney griner and big up victor boot as well for wishing her good luck right so he says here yeah he wished her good luck in the prison swap he says here the statement here he says victor boot i wished her good luck she even extended her and boot is nicknamed the merchant of death told russia state tv rt network just saturday our tradition is to wish everybody good and luck and happiness <laughs> Ask if griner engaged with him during the hike she ever yes she did and i felt she was very positive towards me so they had a bit of a flirt they shared some nice pleasantries and they went on their way so big up Brittany griner <laughs> and big up everybody else